Haddenham has all the features of a picture postcard village. The residents are quite used to the sight of cameras and tripods being humped onto the village green. But Bill Stacy is not a visiting professional. He lives here. His camera is local too. It's a highly exclusive Stacy 69, of which there are only eight in the world, entirely made by Bill himself. Uh, I was made redundant January the 2nd of this year, and uh, realizing at the age of 59 that uh, jobs were not all that easy to get, I decided that the, uh, the only employer I could rely on at the moment was myself. Uh, I wasn't prepared to just stay on the dole. And uh, this being my hobby, I decided to try and make the hobby pay for itself rather than uh, me paying for it. You wouldn't use a Stacy 69 for happy snaps. Bill is aiming at a market he knows well because he's been part of it for 40 years. The highly proficient amateur who would like a technical camera but can't pay professional prices. The Stacy is designed to cope with the problem areas of photography. An ordinary camera with a wide angle lens will make the straight lines on a building look as though they're bending outwards. The Stacy 69 corrects all those distortions, even if it looks a bit uncamera like itself. Most keen amateurs already have plenty of lenses, so Bill's camera comes without one. It's flexible enough to allow the photographer to fit virtually any lens he wants. The whole enterprise, design, development and manufacture has taken place in the smallest camera factory in the world, Bill's Garden Shed. You couldn't swing a cat in here, but you can just make a camera. In any cottage industry, output is not high. Bill is working harder than he's ever worked yet it takes him a week to produce one camera. However, demarcation disputes are non-existent, and at under 90 pounds a time, much less than his competitors, Bill has enough orders to last him several months. There's no doubt that the results he gets himself are professional quality. If Bill Stacy is to succeed as an entrepreneur, with the giants of the camera industry against him, his selling price is certainly a trump card. But at 59 and redundant, all Bill wants to do is keep his independence. He's not trying to take on the world. 